Hey, what is up guys? In today's video, we're going to be doing a mailbag time. I've received quite a few things and there's still some more on the way, which is going to be pretty interesting because I do have a lot of mods on the way also. And some of the things here do contribute to that. So let's get started. Now, first of all, T-Motor actually contacted me and said, hey, would you like to try our new F80 Pros? And I said, sure, why not? So they provide me with the F80 Pro 2500 KV, which is really nice packaging and the F80 Pro 1900 KV. Now I'm already using the 1900 KV on one of my wings and I'll be setting these up on quads to actually go and test these out. Now they're going to be pretty interesting. They both take up to a 6S. These are pretty massive motors. I think they're 2408 motors. So that's really nice in that perspective. Also, they sent me the T-Motor F55 amp ESC Pro. So this is going to be pretty cool. I think we should crack this open. We'll crack it open a little bit in the video. And also the F45 amp 4-in-1 ESC, which is both of these are rated up to 6S. So I'm really curious how these are going to test out and also be set up on a quadcopter. So we're going to put these to the side here. Also, I am picking up VTXs because I will be doing long range stuff and I want to see which one is going to be the best for me. Now, this is the XUAV VTX Pro here. And what I really liked about it is it has nothing special except one little thing, which can be modded on any VTX, but I really like seeing this. And I'm gonna show you that right now. One, that it's soldered, you, you solder onto it. Another thing, it's a half a stack, which is really nice. Uh, that's another feature that I really, really liked. Oh, you can solder everything here. And I think it does have some kind of uh, smart port or something of that nature. I don't remember, but we'll check that in a little bit. And it also has this nice fat heatsink, which I think is working off the ground plane or the copper plane on the PCB, which is really nice, which theoretically should keep this overall pretty cool. And I think it has a maximum output of 600 milliwatts, which we'll be taking a look at later on. And again, look at this, a 90 degree angle MMCX port. I wish they inserted the uh, SMA or RP SMA at least. But this is fine because you can put whatever you want without any soldering. And this is a huge plus. I'll have it linked down below. And again, if you guys check out the links down below, those greatly support the channel. So let's put this to the side. This will be tested very soon. Also, I picked up this Turbo Wing 1 watt amplifier, 2.4 gigahertz amplifier, which is really, really nice. Now, what am I going to do with this, you might say? Well, we're going to install this inside the uh, Flysky. So this is going to be a fly sky mod for long range and currently i do have the r9m i have actually two of them now because i freaking love them insanely and the reason why i got two is because we see this little bad boy here and it works beautifully so the review of this will be coming up soon i mean this thing is massive i know a lot of people just were hating on it because the software isn't ready but holy crap this thing is so nice especially that i'm a thumber I am in love here. I love this more than my Horus right now, but we'll get into that in a later video. It's just awesome. It, it works with everything. Crossfire, FR Sky, it's just, oh my goodness. So we'll put that to the side. So the theory here, this will be going on a Fly Sky uh, to be modded for the internal receiver. Then, since we already did the Fly Sky multi-module mod, we're gonna take those cheap multi-modules and actually install this through them to see how much more range we can actually get with this. It's really nice. And has some kind of a nice mounting solution here where you put some kind of a rod so it's going to be very easy for me to design something for this on the 3d printer and i'll have it on my thingiverse profile go ahead and check out my thingiverse just put drone mesh on thingiverse and follow me there sometimes i make things and i just upload there without making a video on so you, you might find something that's useful especially if you're in this hobby because usually i'm making stuff that i need and uh, that, that i can't find anywhere so i think this is going to be pretty interesting i'll have this link down below i think it was pretty cheap I actually requested it from bingo and they agreed so this is going to be really fun and as you can tell the whole casing here is just aluminum and it's meant to stay overall cool with this little heatsink. You can even add a fan if you wanted to. I don't think it will need one, but you can. And they provide everything really nicely made here. As you can tell, you just pop that guy open, replace it with this IPEX port that's inside the fly sky, connect it here, and then on the other side, connect your antenna and you're good to go. And they do, I think, I think this is, I don't remember if this is what they give us or this was, uh, I put it in the box here. So yeah, just forget that now because I actually have no idea because I was playing with this earlier. So yeah, forget this antenna. Maybe I just didn't have a place to put that antenna. I just stuck it in there. But yeah, I don't think it comes with an antenna, by the way. <clears throat> but check the description. If it does, then I think this is the antenna that it came with, I think. But I highly doubt it. All right, let's put this to the side. So I'll have this link down below. Also, I got some receivers, X4R and X6R with PWM outputs. Why would I do such a thing? Well, because I want to be doing, well, I am going to be doing long range testing, especially on receivers and also and on different transmitters, which I think is going to be pretty interesting. So we'll do something like this, the multi-modules, and uh, we'll get like one, We'll after we 
test out all the receivers we'll pick one receiver that's going to be the main one to be tested on something i prefer with rssi and telemetry like an x4r or an x uh x6r i forgot what the hell they're called anyways we're gonna pick one of those and then we'll see how well uh that'll that'll play out and then we'll use that as the 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 the, the receiver for testing of all of the fr sky transmitters and i'm also going to be doing fly sky and it's going to be pretty interesting so that's why i'm picking up a couple of these here also servos why the hell would i pick up servers well these are from light take these are actually provided to me by light take they said hey would you like to help us kind of do some marketing in a way well basically just to give me a product for review in exchange i put their link down below which is not affiliated any sort of way except i got these free servos from which is really nice so i told them i wanted uh analog servers and digital servers because i am building a bunch of new rc airplanes and these are going to be pretty interesting and pretty cool so i'll leave a link to them down below check them out those greatly support the channel and um yeah that was really nice of them so let's put this to the side also obviously you've seen it the nirvana and i also did pick up a couple things but i actually don't know where i placed them but we'll see that in a later video because i still have more things to show you a 550 millimeter monster here can you see this so this is going to be an inav build here with the camera gimbal set up and everything and um unfortunately this thing doesn't have any documentation whatsoever so it's going to take some time to build it has a lot of things to set up here so i have no idea when to start on this but i really want to get started on this soon but first i should finish my hexacopter before i'm moving on however this is going to be easier for me to design the gimbal setup for it the packaging isn't really great there's some scratch oh actually that's just dirt that's really nice no there is some scratches but it's okay i mean it's 70 bucks i mean i think this is a really good price for such a such a huge drone here and obviously this you can set the fpv on this and as you can tell it has foldable arms and stuff so i guess they do come with two versions the 680 and the 550 i know this is the 550 here which is called the z4 mini um which is gonna be really nice i do have 10 inch propellers and now i'm just gonna look for a nice motor because i have no idea what motors to use on such things uh the last kit i i got came with its own motors I actually got two of them so i do have some spare motors i might just use those and uh this will probably be fine on a 3s i don't know yet but we will figure it out as time goes on also i picked up this here this is a nice little kit uh from banggood which is basically a screen an rx5808 receiver i think it's an rx5808 receiver i don't know but i'm gonna pop this guy open oh, i'm gonna pop this guy open. let me explain what i'm doing with this here what i'm planning on doing with this is going to be designing a 3d model for it and also having it be my fat shark or my drone mesh uh, drone finder setup to test a receiver, uh, not receiver, to test antennas on. So if this is really nice. Uh, we'll set up a DVR on it. We'll set up the RSSI reading and uh, I'll use the RX5808 module. So this will be popped off from here. And I'll have it take also Fat Shark modules, so we can even do Fat Shark module testing on this guy. Uh, just the same kind of platform always instead of just my goggles. Uh, so maybe I wanted to test 5.8 gigahertz, and then I'm flying at 2.4 gigahertz. So I'll have the 2.4 gigahertz in my goggles and the 5.8 gigahertz here. And um, it's just going to be really nice. I just want to make something that's unique. Well, it's not unique. It's just a cut. A made or, or customized to my needs and i think would be customized to pretty much a lot of people's needs because basically i'm in this you know, hobby exactly the same way you are so yeah i think that's going to be pretty interesting and as I'm, I'm i got one to test it tests really nice so i'm planning on picking up a couple more they're cheap around 20 bucks so that's really nice in that perspective um, what else do we have? I do have a couple FXT cameras the venus pro and some other ones which will be set up on my zod nano talon and i also got a new wing it's a kit actually from banggood as a surprise and i don't know what the hell i was receiving the other day which was really nice so let me show you that real quick it's this one here and i was gonna be a pain to show you everything but it's called the it's basically king kong ldarc that company uh it's a 800 millimeter 768 millimeter um hybrid rc plane now this is not ready this is the kit so i don't know if i'll make a build video on it but um, all it is is just super glue and you're good to go. And that is the reason why I got some of those servos here. So if we just take a look at the, the instruction manual. So it's a hybrid between plastic, some plastic pieces and foam, which I find to be really nice. It looks pretty good. It does have a decent amount of space inside, which that's something that I really, really like. And uh, we'll be seeing this very soon on the channel. And these are actually, guys, these are hella fun. They are more fun than what you actually think these are going to be. Only, obviously, if you put FPV. If you don't put FPV, you're just going to be flying in circles. Even though flying in circles is really nice, but the tendency to, to, to break it is really high. And um, I'm trying not to fly them 
but only with FPV. So yeah, this is this is gonna be really fun to build here. And I did go ahead and actually rebuild my Nano Talon. I put the F405 flight controller in there, an R9 GPS, and I modded the insides with some 3D printed parts. So that's gonna be upcoming very soon after I do its maiden. I still haven't done its maiden yet. If you guys are interested in like iNav builds, I can totally do iNav builds uh, for, for these types of things. And guys, this thing is just, I'm in love here. I don't know if it has any bugs just yet or anything. Uh, to be honest, I really don't care and I could wait it out. But oh my goodness, look at the module bay here. There we go. Oh my goodness, look at that. Actually, <laughs> this thing holds the modules better than my Horus, which is something really nice also. Um, I am totally in love with this thing here. It's just, it's really, really nice. And the, the touch screen isn't really the nicest, I would say. Um, it's, it's nice, it's pretty responsive, but let me show you an example here. And we're gonna keep that for a later video. To put the volume all the way there, it was kind of a pain because you can't really read. For example, here's beep strength. See, it's it's a pain. So my, my hand will stop right there. So what I have to do is come from the side and like poke it right there. So it could just pull that over. But you have to have the thing highlighted. But for me, that's not a, that's not really a deal breaker at all. And I think they could reprogram parts of this. So yeah, this is also a little issue while I'm going down. You know, things tend to change here, especially on these. But it's not really. I don't. I don't personally. I don't think it's a big problem. Some of you might be a little hasty or just a little. You know, a little moody because that's how most of you are for some reason uh, <laughs> lately. So yeah, but yeah, it's so cool. Check this out. Crossfire PPM XJT off whatever. You know, it's it's really nice. So the internal is obviously a fly sky. There we go. And you could choose PWM, IBUS, PWM, SBUS, just the normal stuff. And if you don't want this, just power this off. And we're going to go with the R9, which is really nice. And uh, that's something that I really, really like about this. The screen is really nice. I haven't tested it inside. And as you can tell, it's actually working. So here's the light. And if we go to bind, you should start seeing it blinking. Can you see it blinking now? That is, that is just awesome. Oh, my goodness. Even the sounds that it makes just is just... It, oh my goodness, I'm in love here, but you know, that's just, uh, that's me and I shouldn't do that in a review, but I am literally in love here. Um, this thing, so yeah, I'm in love with this thing. This thing just, uh, is just absolutely phenomenal. It just looks really, really nice and, uh, I really love this thing. So, uh, we're going to be testing it very soon, but you know, don't take my word for it. I'm just, I'm just saying it because just, just, just the overall package is really, really nice here, especially for a thumber because I'm a thumber here. Uh, I wish the gimbals just had a little more strength they're real they feel really loose uh it's not how i really like to feel them but you know i think that could be modified inside if i do like it enough i'll put some uh, i don't know if i if i put some hall effect gimbal i think it probably already comes with them i don't know the exact specs just yet but i'll check out the exact specs we'll probably open this guy open take a look at it and i still haven't modded any of my fr skies to run the crossfire and even though i have the crossfire so this is also going to be a place to test my crossfire the official latency of the crossfire by the way i feel like the r knight has latency i could hear it from far away but maybe that's just the this the speed of sound that's uh giving me that delay but overall yeah there's some things to be expected on challenger still a shitload more and there's a lot of mods coming especially the uh x light like i promised uh the uh, charging mod uh but currently i'm waiting for the batteries which still haven't arrived and uh, that's the reason why i didn't start on it because if i started on it and i just said a proof of concept then a lot of you will just start complaining like always so i just said you know i'll just wait it out and well that's currently it that's gonna conclude it for this video guys i really hope you guys enjoyed it and uh, i'll probably see you in a couple hours or something and then we'll take it from there so i'll see you in the next one peace out guys